And here we are in book four on the Union, Union Station series, Spy Night on Union Station. And uh, let's see, we got 240 pages. This one's a little bit longer than the others uh, by about 60 pages. So, you know, it's about a third longer than the previous ones. Uh, start series with the first book date not in Union Station. And this is a series where you really should start in the beginning and work your way through. Uh, the story picks up less than a year after the events of High Priest on Union Station, with Kelly coming to the conclusion that EarthSense needs an intelligence service. Of course, EarthSense has no institutional knowledge of what spies do or how they work, so the new agency gets off to a slow start. Then Kelly and the Union Station crew come up with a brilliant idea. So, yeah, they <laughs> the um, training uh, of new human spies consists of watching old movies, like Born Identity. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's the kind of professionalism they're dealing with. Um, one of the interesting things about this universe that the authors created is that there's a very big separation between Earth and then human interactions with the rest of the galaxy. So you know, they're, the countries of Earth are still around and they're still dictating you know things internally, but uh, other aliens don't recognize them at all because they just look at the um, the administration that the the Strix, the artificial intelligence, is put in place, and um, they are uh, in in this book. We see that uh, humans are not taken seriously because they don't have their own spies. Because you know, if you're w worth doing anything, then you want to, you know, uh, cheat as much as possible, basically. So it's an interesting, you know, development, and uh, we start to see uh, more characters uh, kind of take the center spotlight. And, um, you know, Kelly's still in there, but she's one of many now at this point, rather than, you know, the main focus. So again, four out of five, and uh, I like it.